So today I am doing some a Turner Bond on this roof right here and I thought I should film it. <laughs> so um, what I have here is I have some scissors in case I need to make any cuts, although I haven't so far. I have odorless mineral spirits and I have a little terry towel and I also have the two inch um, pre-cut Eterna Bond. I think it normally comes in four inches but I bought the two inch because I wanted to overlap this section right here just slightly so yes I've made a start already so what I did is I put some mineral spirits on this rag and I cleaned I just wiped over the area just just put a little dab on here and I just wiped the area here and I went on the rubber roof just a little bit right here but then I wiped it straight off so you don't want to leave any mineral spirits on the rubber roof because it can destroy it so I cleaned that off I just cleaned it down really good um, it has some stain in here but this isn't coming off so it feels really clean to the touch so a tip here is to work in really small sections because as you can see where I first started I have some air bubbles here these are bolts in the roof and there's some kind of there's a little air around them a little too much so I figured out as I got to here to make sure there's no air bubbles I just push underneath like that then I push up to the bolt, around the bolt, then I come across the seam and then I put this down. That way I'm always pushing the air bubbles out. Because right here there's uh, just the back in here so there's no stickiness. So I'm just pushing all the air bubbles out, all in the same direction. I find that to be the easiest way to minimise those bubbles. Another tip I figured out while I was doing this is, especially if you're tucking it into the gutter, which I find it to be probably the neatest way to do this. Before you peel the backing off, tuck the Eterna Bond right into the gutter and line it up to where you want it. And then pull it really, really taut. And then when you peel the sticky back, you just run your finger right in there and just lay down with your other hand as you're pulling this really tight. You get a really neat edge and it sets you up to be even the whole way across. Okay, so I completed the edges with the two inch Eterna Bond. And now I'm onto the four inch. I lined it up with the side right there. I'm just doing this end cap. I already did the front one. This is the last piece I'll be doing today. So I also cleaned it off with the mineral spirits like I did the side. And I'm just making sure I cover these bolts right here. And I cleaned them off all good with the, uh, the mineral spirits and made sure I got rid of any loose pieces of silicone or sealant as well. So I'm just lining it up a little further back so you can't see this line from the ground or from the road. That way it looks neat and tidy. And I'm just lining it up all the way along and slowly pulling the plastic out. So I've got it all lined up. And then I just pull a few inches out and then I just push it around the bolts. Make sure I've got a real good sealant around those. Make sure there's no air bubbles, just like with the two inch and just push it along like that and work it into this little crease and then push it out. Make sure it's stuck real good. Make sure that no water's gonna get in there. So yeah, this is the four inch. I'm using it just the same as the two inch. It's just as easy to use, especially on a flat surface like this. So I'm just gonna run this all the way along and seal the end cap. So a quick tip when you get to an end Scissors do a terrible job of cutting this stuff because the glue gets on them and they go all gummy and disgusting. So when you get to an edge and you want it neat like this, I'm going to use a little exacto knife and I'm just going to score off the straight edge and peel it off. Okay, so I cut it with the little knife, but what I did is I stuffed this piece of cardboard under there so I wouldn't cut through onto the Eterna Bond or roof underneath. And I think I've got a pretty good line. I'm just going to pull this out of there and just push this down. I think that's, uh, I think that's okay. That's a nice clean edge there. So yes, um, I believe I'm done with the Eterna Bond for now. And we actually did the Eterna Bond when we replaced these vents as well. So there's a Eterna Bond around there. We used leftover four inch for that before I had to order this stuff. So yeah, so far I like the product. Um, went on really easily it seems to stick down and hold really well we actually have this on our motor home as well the four inch so and that's holding up really well that's been on there for about six months already and it's still holding up really good so yeah i'm happy with it and i hope you learned something from this video and we'll see you guys next time have a great day Bye bye